In this video, we are going to take a look at one of the properties of concave functions, which is sum of two concave functions is concave. So let f and g be two concave functions whose domains are rm and range is the real number line r. And we want to show that the sum of these two concave functions, so the function f plus the function g is going to be a concave function as well. So formally stating, we need to show that the function f plus g evaluated at the linear combination of x and y is going to be greater than or equals to the linear combination of the function f plus g evaluated at x and at y, which is pretty similar to our standard definition of a concave function, where x and y are elements of Rm and lambda belongs to the closed interval 0, 1. So let's take uh, a look at the simple proof of this property. So we start from the left hand side which is f plus g evaluated at lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y. So this represents the sum of the two concave functions f and g. So this is essentially we are evaluating the function f at this point and the function g at this point and then we are adding them up. So we can write this expression in this way which is f evaluated at lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y plus g evaluated at lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y. And since f and g are individually concave functions, so this expression can, is greater than or equal to this expression. And this expression is greater than or equal to this expression. This is something that we can get from the definition of a concave function. And since f and g are concave functions, we can write this expression greater than this expression and this expression greater than this expression. And as a result, their sum is all going to be greater than this given aggregate expression. And then we can just rewrite this expression. We can collect the lambdas and 1 minus lambdas and we are going to get this expression which is lambda into fx plus gx 1 minus lambda into fy plus gy. So we can see that this is the sum of function f evaluated at x and the fun function g evaluated at x. And this is function f evaluated at y plus the function g evaluated at y. So this can be written as f plus g evaluated at x and f plus g evaluated at y and we can see that we are taking the linear combination of these two evaluation points with lambdas and these points are smaller than this one which represents this quantity and as a result we have actually proved that the sum of two concave functions is a concave function. 